Hi, Lopez. Got a minute? Certainly, senor. How can I help you? Any ideas yet? Not as yet, senor Storbart. I shall give it more thought. Catch you later, Lopez. Adios, senor Storbart. I didn't like the idea of carrying 30 yards of hose around me, so I left it alone. Hello again. Mind if I sit? Please, be my guest. I'll have a look around if... My hope. Now that it had given up its secret, the glass squares and the lectern were just decorative again. The mirror from Lopez's utility room. Now what? There was nothing to snuff. Feeling like an idiot, I put it down again. The lectern was bare. The lectern was bare. Hanging from the ceiling was a huge yellowed candle. It looked really old and had never been lit. Now what? Feeling like an idiot. I couldn't climb up there without breaking something. Hi, Lopez. Got a minute? Certainly, senor. How can I help you? Any ideas yet? Not as yet. Hmm. Look at this tissue. Why? I'd like your opinion on it. Okay. It has some sort of oily deposit on it. That's grease paint. Oh. I wouldn't like that on my face. It stinks of solvent. Stray spark. And your head might blow up? I don't think it's quite that flammable. Uh... Uh... Hmm... Any ideas yet? Not as... Catch you later, Lopez. Adios!
The tissue was pretty charred, but the grease paint had done most of the burning. Now what? There was nothing to snuff. Feeling like an idiot. The candle had burnt brilliantly, but only for a couple of minutes, some kind of special formulation, I guess, and had yielded up this, a complex shape expertly cut in stone. I figured it was some kind of key. It was a smooth, intricately carved piece of stone that had been concealed inside the great candle. The lectern was bare. Hi, Lopez. Got a minute? Certainly, senor. How can I help you? This tissue is charred. You won't get any argument from me on that, senor Stobart. Do you know what this is? No, senor. Is it some kind of key? Yeah, I think it probably is. Where did you get it? It was hidden inside the big candle in the mausoleum. And you burnt it? I wondered what the light was I saw through the window. My lady will be furious. The candle was centuries old. Ah. Any ideas yet? We are looking for a source of water, see? Yes. For generations, the Spanish country folk have had a secret way of locating water, even if it is meters beneath the ground. Ah, you're not talking about water dousing, are you? Eh? You know, you get a stick and walk around until the stick twitches and dig there. Oh, you've heard of it. Yeah, I think most of the planet has. Okay, let's get a stick. Uno momento. It must be a special stick. A Y of hazel. Right. Do you have any hazel trees? See, si. Here. That is hazel. So that was what a hazel tree looks like. I went over to find a suitable stick. I don't believe it. There wasn't a single usable Y-shaped branch on the whole damn thing. There wasn't a single u- Hi, Lopez. Got a minute? Certainly, senor. How can I help you? Catch you later, Lopez. Adios, Senor Stobart. I wasn't going to put on it.
Hello again. Mind if I sit? Please. I'll be my guest. What does this charred tissue suggest to you? You have pyromaniac tendencies. What do you make of this? It looks like some sort of key. Where did you get it from? It was buried inside the great candle in the mausoleum. Inside it? What have you done to it? I, uh, lit it. But it is irreplaceable. Listen, the candle was to be lit in case of Moorish attack, right? Well, it burnt down in no time and revealed this key thing. Maybe that was the real purpose of lighting the candle. What are you suggesting? That lighting the candle was the equivalent of break glass in case of emergency. A sentiment must not stand in the way of solving this mystery. You did the right thing. I'll have a look around, if that's okay. My home is your home. I shall remain here. So that was what a hazel tree looks like. I went over to find a suitable stick. Aha! It was a thin, supple twig of hazel. Hi, Lopez. Got a minute? Certainly, senor. How can I help you? Well, I got my divining rod. Now what? Simplicity itself, senor. Hold the wand at the upper ends of the Y. Apply a little tension with your wrists so that the slightest movement of the wand's tip is clear and walk slowly and steadily over the area. Sounds easy enough. <laughs> We'll find this well in no time. Senior Stobart, you've... you've found something. This is it. This is where we find the secret of the Templars. Hidden here for hundreds of years. Lost from the sight of man until now. The mystery is revealed. It's a tin can. I've been walking up and down with a twig in my hands, looking for a tin can. It had water in it. That's what the dowsing stick must have detected. I'd have to check with an archaeologist, but I don't think the Templars left that. In truth, Senor Stobart, the lawn was laid many, many years ago. This can could date back to the Napoleonic Wars. Get rid of it and I'll try it again. Lopez threw the can away. It seemed to fall an awfully long way. The splash at the end confirmed what we both suspected. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. It has been here all the time. All those years and nobody found it. Stood in awe for a moment, marveling at the secrets all around us. I could have fallen down that. The well had been lost for decades at least. The air was cool after the noon sun, but that's not what gave me goosebumps. 
I have a really, really bad feeling about this.